sex but having a hard time finding husbands. Well, what do they think? We'll be right back. Fox News Live, I'm Kieran Chetri. As the search for Chandra Levy continues now. Yes, I'm John Gibson, in for Bill O'Reilly. And in the Unresolved Problems segment, a new study shows that sex without commitment is killing dating on college campuses and maybe hurting women who want to find their husbands in college. Joining us now from Washington is Elizabeth Marcord, co-author of the study and, a, and an affiliate scholar at the Institute for American Values. And Amy Richards, the co-author of Manifesta, Young Women, Feminism, and the Future. So Elizabeth, why don't you tell us about this study that shows evidently that American college women are just, the expression is hooking up. What is hooking up? Uh, well, what we found in the study is that uh, the social scene on campuses today doesn't seem to support the aspirations that young women have uh, regarding long-term commitment and marriage because relationships are too often characterized by too little commitment, hooking up, and too, little, too much commitment. Elizabeth, are you talking about uh, sex without a commitment or, as for that matter, without even much knowing who the sexual partner is? Uh, exactly. Hooking and how much up, is this uh, going on? Uh, three quarters of women in uh, our survey said that hooking up is when a girl and a guy get together for a physical interaction right. and but don't, how many and don't of them expect are actually anything doing further. It? And 40% of women in the country said that they'd experienced a hookup, college women, and one in 10 had hooked up more than six times. Uh, now, why is this a, a terrible thing? I suppose that some people might argue that uh, everybody does a little sexual activity while they're in college and then they settle down, get married, and life goes on. Right. Well, clearly casual sex is nothing new, but what distinguishes hooking up from casual sex is that uh, with, in the past, with casual sex, if a woman slept with a man she barely knew, uh, she might think there was a real possibility of a relationship developing out of it, or she certainly didn't need to feel ashamed for thinking that. With hooking up, uh, the, the ground rule on campuses is that there will be no relationship to come out of it. And on the contrary, if a woman hopes otherwise, she's considered to be a little naive or foolish. Okay. Now, Amy, you, you don't like the study, you don't like the results, uh, but... I think it's good news that but, there's more hooking up, but... <laughs> why is that good news? Well, no, I mean, I've been traveling this country for the past nine months since Manifesto was published, and unlike Elizabeth's study, which looked at 11 college campuses, I've actually been to about 38 college campuses over the actually, last year. we had year. a national survey as well. And I see it, the, the climate on the campuses is very good, the relationships between men and women, and I think... Well, do you think hooking up is a good thing? That there, there, there's going to be this... It depends on the individual, but I think that there are individuals who are very much male and female who are enjoying hooking up and enjoying that time in their lives, which is a time of freedom, a time to but explore it, the different possibilities. Let me get this straight. Are you describing hooking up as a... It's just the way life is on the college campus, that when, uh, when Ma and Pa send their daughter and son $30,000 <laughs> off, off to college, what we uh, get for our money is the assurance that our daughters and our sons meet each other in a hallway, barely know each other's name. Next thing you know, they're engaged uh, in, uh, I guess, indelicato is the expression. <laughs> they're going at it. Is that what's happening? Well, I certainly don't think that's all people are doing on college campuses. And to put the parents at ease out there. They're, you know, the social scene has always been a, a fraction of what's happening on college campuses. Um, but I do think that there, there's a lot of exploring that's going on in college campuses. And as much as that four-year period, which is the average period, is a time of exploring how you think, how you argue, but how Elizabeth you debate, is saying that, that this, this deal is killing dating, that there is no dating, well, that I, people don't call each other up and say, well, would you like to go out? We're going to go to the pizza place besides, and go see a movie, because you, know, you, you don't have to. You can right. just bump into somebody, hook up. You don't need to do all of those nice things we used to do. Well, besides the 1950s, I don't know that college students ever really did date. I mean, I think dating is more reserved for the period after college. When I, you sort of I take to my city. assurances on this. Yes, they did. Yeah. <laughs> when you moved to the city, when no, you no. Take my after you graduated I, from I college, I was there. You, you did. were dating. Well, well you, you did. I mean, you didn't have much money, but you did. When I was in college, which was you know almost ten years ago, dating wasn't something. It wasn't a term that was in use. I mean, hookup no. was. <laughs> hookup was. Elizabeth, I, what is? Ha I mean, did you get the sense from your study that women are out there going away to college, hoping they meet? Mr. Wright, they get married, she'll support him through law school, he won't leave her, they'll have a family. And that's not happening because instead this substitute thing has happened. I see a guy, he sees me, now we're going to do it. 
Right. Uh, well, I'd first like to correct. Our study actually uh, interviewed 1,000 women over the telephone, college women, and we went to 11 colleges and universities and spoke with an additional, additional 62 women in depth. Um, the thing that we find troubling about hookups is not so much even that it's sexual activity, but it, that the goal of a hookup is to, is to have sex or a sexual encounter without feeling, without emotion. And that's what we find troubling about it. And we think that hooking up is poor preparation to establish intimacy right, and trust Elizabeth, in a marriage Right, but Elizabeth, you would on. make this same argument about what you referred to earlier as casual sex of an earlier era. I mean, that wasn't, uh, it didn't have elements of feeling uh, involved any more than this hooking up does, does it? Well, um, I, I'm not sure. I don't have a similar study with the same questions asked about ca casual sex. But what I can say is that I know women in our study apologized about having feelings for a guy they'd hooked up with. When they felt hurt after a hookup that a guy not only didn't call them, but didn't even acknowledge them when they saw them at the library, when they felt hurt by that, they blamed themselves. They said, I must be too emotional or too sensitive. It must be my fault. Well, Amy, is it their fault? I mean, if they're hooking up, uh, is it their own darn problem if they expected anything more of it? No. I mean, I think, well, first of all, I think that w women are our own, you know, we're, we'll blame ourselves eternally for anything. But I think that in terms of looking at the, the, you know, who's hooking up and who's not, I don't know that it's, it's a bad thing. I think that there's no emotional guarantee with marriage. You know, why should there be with a hookup? Well, there is, <laughs> there is the promise dating, of it. Or casual There sex. is at least a goal of right, it. Right, there's the hope but of it. Most people try to have a, a very deep emotional connection. But in I terms mean, of, marriage is not a hookup. But in terms of recommending maybe a, a casual dating over a hookup, in the hopes that we'll get more of an emotional well, investment. I don't think Amy, we can... are you telling me, I'm getting, I'm getting, my head's going to explode like something on a Mars attack. <laughs> are you telling me that hooking up is a preferable social activity to people actually meeting each other, having a day, finding out one, about each other, and then, maybe it's four or five hours later, and then having sex? But I don't, no, see, I don't think it's different. That's what I think. I mean, you might be, it's a matter of semantics. I think that what we're calling now hookup, it's the same. People aren't hopping into bed with the person they met two minutes ago. It's the person they met at a party, the person they've seen Elizabeth, on campus. are they hopping into bed with the person they met two minutes ago or not? Uh, in some cases, they may have hung out with the person for a few hours. Uh, but what women said to us, uh, one woman said specifically, dating, it's like, you're, it's like you're actually interested in the person. A hookup is just like you want to get something. Mm. All right. Elizabeth Markhart, Amy Richards, thanks to both of you. Uh, coming up next, not hooking up, Jennifer Lopez causing a storm for using the N-word on her new album. It's a Bill O'Reilly Factor flashback you won't want to miss. Right